Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here with a video about what I've been up to lately. First, let me say that I'm going to promote someone else's Etsy store, but she does things that I don't do, so we're good. <laughs> I got a lovely Christmas present from my friend Carla at What If NC, and the NC stands for North Carolina, but don't write that out. It's just What If NC. Um, I got a resin book. She said that she was doing experiments, and I told her I would love a book made from resin. She found the front to, uh, I guess front and the back on just one side, of a, I guess a mold. I don't know anything about this resin stuff. Anyway, so I sent her one of my doodle sheets, and she cut it up and embedded it in the resin and found um, spirals or I don't know rings rings that's the word rings for the notebook and send it to me f for Christmas with um, mixed media paper in it so I have been doodling in it have dedicated this book to doodling flowers of all kinds whether it's black and white or it's color or whatever my inspiration for this book are one two three um, hashtags on Instagram. The first one is hashtag Alice Loves Drawing. The second hashtag is Florals Your Way, Y-O-U-R Way. And the third one is hashtag Plant Doodles. These three people, groups, whatever they are, have just, I don't know, I, I was just smitten with all three of these things and I really have enjoyed drawing things from them. So here was the first page in the book that I I started. And it's just a compilation of some flowers from different sources. This is a Alice Loves Drawing. This is Alice Loves Drawing. This is a Zen Doodle. These are from Pinterest. This is also from Pinterest. This is from Pinterest. This is Alice. Uh, I'm not sure where that came from. And this is Alice. This is Alice. So, you know, it's a lots of different sources. Alright, so this one is the hydrangea balls and this is an Alice Loves drawing. She did like one of these and then I just decided to go ahead and do it and yes the page is finished. I only wanted something very simple, neat and clean and that's the only thing that's going on that page. Then I watched her do an Instagram video where she put tape down on um, I guess they were two inch by two inch squares and then she drew the, um, the these are daisies then she colored them with colored pencils I'm not wild about colored pencils so I did mine with watercolor and I liked it so much that I did it on the next on another page so most of these unless I say otherwise are from Alice Loves Drawing she did an egg mine did not look anything like hers but I'm still happy with the way it looks She did a tutorial on how to draw a camellia, and then she showed you, she calls this the elements. So this section right here is all the different kinds of squiggles, lines, circles, and bendy things that she used in this. This was the first one I drew, is in the middle of the paper. It was good, but I thought that I could improve, so I did a second one down below it. And then the second one turned out okay, and I thought, well... Let me do a third one. So this is the third one still in progress. I still need to make the squiggly lines and the leaves and the folds and stuff, but I thought I would throw a little watercolor on it. I don't know if I really like the watercolor on this one or not, but, you know, you don't know until you try. These were done on bee paper that was gifted to me by Lisa Swank, and I am crazy about this bee paper. Yes, you can find it on Amazon when it's in stock right now. It's out of stock. I looked for a friend in the UK, so see if she could get it over there and it was basically the size I wanted in the packs I wanted were out of stock so I'm gonna try again later so I drew a bunch of things on three sheets of B paper and I thought well I can now that I've drawn them on the paper I can't put them in a book because they were too close to the edge and I was like no so what I did was I cut them out individually and I just glued them in here so this one is um, a Gerber daisy this is a pansy this is the hydrangea ball, the original one that inspired this one. These are glued. Yeah, all these are glued in. Okay, so then 
Alice also does drawings of pictures where she does, you know, little things like one inch by one inch squares and does a whole bunch of them. Then she puts a little flower of some sort in the square but doesn't tell you what the name is. So this is unknown flower number 23, <laughs> unknown flower number 3, unknown flower number 30. And then she did some, uh, I don't know, uh, mass flower drawing and colored in in between all of them with the black marker. And I did that as a circle. And then I did another one. This, the original one of this is a square. Then I saw a friend's daughter's photograph of a hibiscus. So I decided to draw the hibiscus. Since then, Alice has done it. I found a hibiscus, so I'm going to try to see, look at hers and see where I can improve on mine. This is Unknown Flower 7, 5, 13, tulips are number 12, and then there's a zinnia. This is a Black Eyed Susan, Sunflower, Daisy, 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 Daisy. Daisy Snowdrop. I didn't know there were so many different shaped daisies, did you? Cosmos, Cherry Blossom, Anemone. This is um, one that I saw by Deb Pruitt on Blue Twig Nest. And I cut it out and added it in here. This is from my friend Josie Bergstrom, who lives in the Norfolk area, and she takes beautiful photographs of flowers. This was one of the photographs that was posted on our Facebook page, and I decided to sketch it and paint it. These are lilies. I don't know what this is, but whatever it is, it's gorgeous. That also came from my friend Josie. Here is an Alice Loves Drawing tulip. This is a drawing from, again, my friend Josie. Um, these are Japanese irises. I'm not adding color to them. I'm going to leave them alone the way they are. I'm so scared I'll mess it up. <laughs> There's a daffodil from Alice Loves Drawing, the dog rose from Alice, and French marigold from Alice. And that is that. So I'm going to continue. I think I'm probably about, how far am I in? I have a ways to go. I'm probably about a third of the way through the paper that Carla gave to me in this book. So I'm going to continue going. But I do a little bit when I see something I like. It's not an everyday I'm obsessed with finishing this book thing. Okay, so I was talking about B paper. And this is what's left of um, what Lisa sent me at Christmas. And I've been using it sparingly because I don't want to run out of it. Especially now that I can't find it on Amazon. Um, so I've been using this to draw things with. And let me show you what I've been up to. I took the B paper and I saw someone doing a technique that I really enjoyed and thought it was very cool. I don't know why, but she took paper, wet, loaded the brush, nice big round fat brush, made a shape, wet it, and then she took some watercolor or some kind of paint and tapped the brush in the water and it went everywhere. And I was like, I was like, that is very cool. Why have I never done this? Who knows? Anyway, so I've been trying it with lots of different things. Like um, I've tried it with PH Doc Martin's Bombay ink, which leaves the B paper very shiny and lovely. I've tried um, FW Del Roni acrylic inks. And then I've used also just plain watercolor. So here are the shapes, the latest shapes that I've made. And then I've been doodling in them. So there's that, that group. That still needs to be doodled and um, cut up. All right, so I started with this group here with green shapes for leaves. And then I doodled in all the leaves. And this is, I think this is uh, dark, this is the um, Doc Martin. P, I mean, P.H. Martin, P.H. Martin Bombay ink. That's what these are. And there's a pair with a little mess on the bottom, so I had to do something. I got sloppy. All right, so those, these are the green ones. 
that. And then I thought, well, you know, if I do that, then I can do other colors, which is the pink and the yellow. And there's a very small green one. And then I thought, well, geez, why stick to just flower shapes? I could do whatever shape I want, right? So then I just put pink blob on there. And when it was dry, I drew in a flower. Then I thought, okay, so let, we can do something with leaves like that. I mean, big flowers. So I made these. And then I thought, well, if I'm going to do that, then I might as well get really crazy, like really crazy, and do something more wonderful. So here they are. Here is another Alice Loves Drawing Leaf. Oop, go on, focus. Here's one on a leaf. Let me just put these all down here because this thing's crazy not focusing. These are tulips. This is an anemone. Anemone. And I can't remember what this one is. I don't think this is a cosmos. I don't know. Then I did that. Those are little daisies. This is a little zendoodle arrangement. These are one of her unknown flower number blah blah blah. There's this one, this one, and this one. Let me go in closer. Hope you can see those. So don't restrict yourself to just doing this kind of thing. Get wild and crazy. Try something different. I have so enjoyed doing this that I'm going to continue on with doodling something on all of these. I did this one as an apple. I want to see what I can do with an apple. Then I decided, wow, this one looks like the planet Earth, but I don't want to restrict myself to just that. I did a star. And I did this one. I don't know what I was thinking. I did one where I tried the white ink on top of the paint. It's okay, but I'm not as crazy about this as I am with the black work. I thought, well, let's do a rectangle. And again, with the leaf shapes. Kind of a square, close to a square and then more leaf shapes. But let me give you a tip. If you're gonna do this, and you're gonna do the black on the outside to give it a little lip, um, you should do it before you cut it out. <laughs> okay, so that is what I've been up to with watercolors and inks. I just thought you might like to see what all's been going on. And then my book from Carla at What If NC. If I will put the link for Lisa Swank's YouTube channel. I will put the links or the hashtags for the three places on Instagram that I really love. And then I will also put Carla's Etsy store site in there where she has um, resin things like cups. And she also has stencils from different people who have decided to create a line of stencils. So there we are right there. I'm all caught up. Okay. See you guys later. Bye. I have been going back through some housekeeping on videos and found that I had the video where I did the flip through of this book. Geez, I don't know, months ago. And I've done more in the book since then, so I thought I would bring you up to date. And here is where I think I left off was... Let me put this up here. It doesn't matter where I put the light. There's some kind of a shadow and I can't get rid of it then there's too much light not enough <laughs> all right um, so this is these two things I made and I just glued them onto page from the B paper and here are things that I've done since the last video I tried to do a, a daffodil um, the rest of this stuff were, came from various sources like Alice Loves Drawing books um, a friend down the road from me gave me a book on Texas wildflowers, so I've been trying to draw some of them. These three right here, some of you may recognize them because I've had the uh, black and white that I made of these on uh, vellum for sale in my Etsy store. Uh, th these three these people, I learned to pronounce them as zinnias, and I've seen gardeners pronounce them zinnias. So either way, 
Uh, these, oh, my friend Josie took pictures of them and I asked permission. She said yes, and I gave her the master link for it so she could get the free copy of these. Wonderful exchange. Drew something on here. This is a compilation of different petals and different things that I learned from Alice Loves Drawing. They started out, this is the inside of one flower. There go the dogs. The inside of another flower, so and so, and so I just made this up. This is not a real flower. <laughs> uh, there's this one, it was a scarabosa. Sca scabrosa. I don't know what this is, but I like it. Lavender. That one is drawn on there. All these, whoop, whoop. I drew a miniature lavender in a pot that is glued on there. The rest of these are drawn on the paper. This was inspired by someone else's art. And the credits down here at the bottom. I liked it. I liked the combination of the watercolor and then drawing over it. Sorry about the dogs. This is from Josie Bergstrom. This is a marsh marigold. I've never heard of that before. These are, this is a chrysanthemum drawing. That came from Alice Loves Drawing. Almost of these did on here. This one is my original art. This came from a flower in my backyard and I plucked the buds and looked at it a whole bunch of different ways. So this is mine. And I did paint it on something and then I cut it out and used it. This was in June of last year. These are a compilation of different flowers I found different places and leaves that I cut out from somewhere else and just glued them on here. This is just glued on here. This is glued on here. This came from Plant Doodles. Um, these sunflowers are from Alice Loves Drawing. That was done in June of last year. See, I've been working and I just haven't filmed anything. These are inspired by, made by the rat. Hashtag made by the rat. Yes, that's exactly her name. From Clant Santa Clara, California, and she's on Instagram. This is more or less the same thing as this. And again with the sunflower. This came, I can't remember where I saw this. I think this might have come off of Pinterest. It looked different than the one on Pinterest, but that was inspired by something I saw on Pinterest. I think this may have been an Alice Loves Drawing one. And it's the Texas Blue Bonnet. These flowers grow all over the place here on the side of the road. They're called Indian Blankets. It is the state flower of Oklahoma. I did not know that until I looked it up. So I plucked it out of the backyard and I set it in a glass of water and looked at it for two or three days before it finally died. And I drew as much of it as I could. So this is where some of the petals had fallen off already. This is one of this these three are the buds or four of the bud that start out. Then this one came out of a book that my friend gave to me that lives down the road. This is called a Mexican hat or the prairie cone flower. This is a daylily. Again, this came out of a book. And I'm working on this one. This one is a, oh, I can't remember the name of it. Anyway, poppies. I did not do the poppies justice. I'm still working on that. Again, with a different kind of flower, I was testing colors. These are crocus. This is another blue bonnet. This was done on the 10th of April of this year. This is another flower I got out of a book. So I have been working on it. So if you go to What If NC, you will find resin stuff that Carla has made. And you can peruse the uh, stencils, of which there are five of mine on there. And some other friends, too. So that's it. I will go ahead and publish this video <laughs> since I've been hanging on to it since last year. Why rush, right? <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. I will see you later. I think I'm two-thirds of the way through the book on this, and as soon as I finish, then I'll do the flip for the last third. Then I'll take all the paper out, bind them up together, and retire them, and then put new paper in and start all over again. I adore this resin book. I just love it. Thanks, Carla. Bye.